Okay, so we're about to take off on an RV trip, but before we do that, I wanna make sure that I have the clearance with this new Gen Y offset coupler or ball where it sits five inches further back to drop the goose box on and then to be able to lift my tailgate up and still give me the angle I'll need in case I need to maneuver around things. So that's kind of the, the part you also need to pay attention to is this portion right here, whenever you're turning or going up and down, also needs to avoid hitting your tailgate. So now that it's positioned five inches further back, I just wanna make sure that that happens. Love the auto coupler. If you didn't see the video that I did on this whole setup right here and how I got it kind of ran using magnets, you should go check that out because it's pretty cool. Okay, so I have the suspension or the front landing gear off the ground. I'm just gonna check real quick. I didn't want to go through the entire process of, of hitching up ready to go and then find out that it wouldn't fit. So I got my other one here just in case. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have any clearance problems at all. It definitely doesn't position things far enough back to where I have to worry about the, the fifth wheel kingpin or the overhang right here making contact. Now I think that's going to work out really well. Yeah, so this should work out perfectly for what we're trying to accomplish. You can see the offset right there, five inches further back, which uh, it shouldn't affect anything side to side from a turning perspective. But what it should do is improve my turning radius. So whenever I want to turn really, really sharp, I just don't have to focus so much on is this going to make contact with this part of the cab? Because it didn't when I did my test, but it was very, very close um, by like less than an inch. So now that I have this set up with it pushed five inches further back, I shouldn't have any problem at all. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and continue the process now. I can get everything connected, everything disconnected from the RV. We can take off on a trip. What's going on guys? So we are out here doing some maintenance at the property today. Shouldn't take too long. Had a bit of an issue. So I have the Brookstone right here. And as you can see, the, uh, the height of the Brookstone makes contact with some of these tree limbs. Last time I backed it in, I noticed a bunch of leaves falling around me. So a couple things need to happen. I probably need to go up there just to make sure that I didn't tear anything, that there aren't any issues. But more importantly, I need to start trimming this stuff. So I got my trusty DeWalt 20 volt pole saw here and I need to cut this stuff down so I don't hit it with the RV anymore.
Okay, I don't really think I need to trim these over here because I really don't drive anything at all under this specific area. See what it looks like though. Well, that's just ugly. See, I'm gonna cut that off right there too. Okay, now the fun part. You get to use the mini excavator. I'm gonna rip down the part that didn't come down. I didn't want to stand underneath it so it didn't fall on me. And then got that branch, this one. Got all this stuff right here. We'll take it over to the already filled dump trailer, top it off so we can make a trip out to the landfill. It is way, way, way too dry and too hot to be burning stuff, just so you know. All right, let's go and move stuff around. Probably wouldn't have hurt to cut these things down a little bit. excavator I wouldn't be able to do this this is probably one of the the primary uses I have for this right now yes I do do a bit of digging we move stuff around with it it's great as a crane but um, compressing stuff down in here so I don't have to make nearly as many trips to the dumpster is is really really a great use of this thing and then moving stuff over here the fact that I don't have to load it up on the tractor I can simply grab it and bring it over here is great especially when it's a hundred plus degrees outside like it is today and I have an air-conditioned cab all of that adds up to a very very valuable piece of equipment for me and I know value 
it's kind of in the eye of the beholder, right? Value is different to everybody. Some people find value in some things, some people find value in other things. But for me, stuff that makes my life a little bit easier out here holds a tremendous amount of value, especially if I can do typically, you know, hot, sweaty, crazy tasks, but do it in an air conditioned environment so I can also do other stuff and not feel completely winded. Because right now the heat index, I believe, outside is about 118 degrees. And uh, it's not fun working outside, especially if you're doing it by yourself. All right. I think we have things compressed down about as good as we need. Everything's looking pretty dang nice. Move the tractor back. 